Do you have a favorite bedtime story? Maybe a few? I would say the same, but I've heard too many to count, let alone rank. From when I was a baby until when I was around middle school age, my parents would read my brother and me a bedtime story every night. Ambitious, isn't it? I'm still surprised they pulled it off. Today I want to share with you some of the most important aspects of this tradition of ours. <coughs> what made our nightly readings so important to me was that they became such a big part of our nightly routine. Every night, we would read a story. No phones, no computers, nothing to distract us. Just us and the words on the page. Sometimes, we would be on road trips, and the routine of bedtime stories would be in jeopardy. But never fear, my mom always made sure to bring a supply of stories on the trip. Nothing would get in the way of reading time. When we were young, we would read entire short stories each night. At this point, we had some favorites that we would beg to read. Ten Terrible Dinosaurs is a story that comes to mind. We must have read it close to 50 times. Another book, Snappy Little Dinosaurs, had pop-up dinosaurs in it. It was a real crowd pleaser. We always had to see our favorite character, the T-Rex. As we got older, we would read a chapter or so from a book instead of a story. The Percy Jackson books were some of my favorites. I was about the same age as Percy at the time, and so of course I wondered, could I be a half-blood just like Percy? <laughs> it kept me up at night. The most special reading of the year was always on Christmas Eve. On this night, we had a guest of honor at our readings, my grandpa. He loved reading to us almost as much as my mom did. The story of choice was always the night before Christmas. Grandpa would don the Santa hat and we would listen intently. Every year he would relay the story of St. Nicholas dis delivering the presents we knew would be coming the next morning. Our nightly readings are something that I cherish to this day. I'm glad that my parents committed to them, even though it would have been easy to quit. Not only did they strengthen our literary skills, but our bonds as a family. When I have a family of my own, I want reading time to be a part of our nightly routine. I hope my kids, too, will be so overwhelmed by stories that they will have to think long and hard to tell you their favorite.